This is the tough thing about politicians. I, I can never remember if they were for them before they were against them or against them before they were for them. Well, I can say I'm against them. Politicians. Politicians? Yeah, yeah I'm with you. Yeah. Free Talk Live. Ron in New York who wants to discuss the 2020 election. So I've got some new, good news for anybody who is a principled libertarian. Uh, it looks like Bill Weld may soon no longer be our problem. <laughs> now, um, who's Bill I, Weld? I saw that today. So Bill, Bill Weld, the, uh, the, uh, the, the moderate neocon who, uh, or the wolf in sheep's clothes, essentially, who um, essentially, when he was governor, he was pro-gun control, he was pro-eminent domain, he was pretty much the exact opposite of a libertarian. Mm-hmm. But then a week before the, ele- the, the the libertarian convention in 2016 changed his party affiliation to libertarian so he could be the nominee just because he was the governor of Massachusetts. He's saying apparently that he's going to make an announcement uh, in New Hampshire um, on uh, February 15th about whether he's running for president. But apparently there are People close to him saying he's not going to run as a libertarian. He's going to run. He's actually going to primary Trump. Well, that would be wonderful news because I had asked the question the other day of, you know, will Trump actually have a primary challenger on the Republican side? Because purportedly there are supposed to be a lot of Republicans that didn't like Trump who kind of got behind him because he ended up getting the nomination, but they still weren't happy about it. The never Trumpers. Yeah. 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 And, and Weld has come out, you know, but, but how does Weld, uh, Weld came to New Hampshire a few years back, and uh, did he not say something to the effect of, you know, with God as my witness, you'll never see me as a Republican, <laughs> you'll never see me as anything but a Libertarian again as long as I live, so help me God. Wasn't there something like that? Yeah. I, I well, there was. <laughs> right, right now, I guess the GOP is, like, whipping out about the idea, and I guess the, I think Ronna McDaniel, I think her name is the Republican, the GOP, uh, the head of the GOP, or the GOP chairman, is saying, oh, well, he can run as a libertarian all he wants, but we don't want him. Right. Um, and I guess Corey Lewandowski was calling him a, an opportunist. Um, I mean, listen, I, I love it because we know he's not going to go, and he's not going to get anywhere because, number one, he's nowhere near as conservative enough to get the nomination. Uh, and number two, not not in today's like world. Well, I mean, Donald Trump wasn't exactly a, whatever a conservative is. He didn't kind of meet that definition either. I mean, Trump's a former Democrat, right? New yeah. York Democrat. But he still flipped his positions on a number of issues. Like he was like I, like I think in like 2000 he was like uh, pro choice and he was like pro universal health care and he pretty much like flipped that. He pretty much got rid of that and took a. <laughs> Pretty much a Tea Party position. Well, before so, he was, he was Republican. for them. No, he was against them before he was for them. This is the tough thing about politicians. I, I can never remember if they were for them before they were against them or <laughs> against them before they were for them. Well, I can say I'm against them. Politicians. Politicians? Yeah, yeah I, I'm with you. Yeah. On that one. yeah. So, um, but like so well, like, like the thing Donald Trump, the, the advantage he had was when he said he was like pro choice and pro universal health care and all that stuff. He said those things like 16 years before he ran for president as a Republican. Right. Um, but Bill Well, just like a couple of years ago, <laughs> is saying, oh, I'm pro-choice and I'm uh, pro all these things that Republicans don't agree with. Um, so that's, that's going to be a hurdle in his path. And plus, I saw a poll that like 90 percent of Republicans supported Donald Trump. It was just like the politicians that were. Uh, it was essentially mainly establishment Republicans that want him out. Right. But I guess, like, a, a vast majority of, like, grassroots registered Republican voters actually uh, support him, which, which makes it unlikely he's not going to be the nominee. So does, does, does this mean I have to be confronted by all my libertarian friends? And I'm, I'm not registered as anything, and I like it that way, uh, yelling at me for not jumping on the weld bandwagon? Because I... I, I didn't like any. First of all, it was really hard to tell what Bill Weld was for or against. He was for Hillary. Yeah, he was real clear. Yeah. There we go. And he was also very much for Obama at one point. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
But I, I just really got tired of it, you know, hearing libertarians say, you know, you just got to suck it up. You know, I, I know. I think Rich was one of those libertarians, right? Didn't you uh, go like all in on you go full Johnson Weld? Weld? I supported Johnson. I never cared about Weld really? one way or the uh, one way or the other. I don't. Uh, I don't have any interest in Weld. Mm-hmm. I think Johnson. Uh, why, why is Johnson better than Weld in in your mind? Oh uh, well, I mean, Johnson for one thing doesn't have any things in his past like. You know, Weld did sign a gun control bill mm. once. He says he opposed it, but he signed it anyway. Um, that doesn't uh, impress me. Johnson okay. doesn't have anything like that in his um, in his past. I mean, Johnson didn't make a priority of eliminating the uh, the bake the cake laws. That wasn't as big a deal to him as it was to some people who just. You know that that that's the most important thing to them. Yeah. You gotta keep, gotta protect yourself from gay cakes. But um, <laughs> nobody else. I I mean, that is my only complaint about Johnson. And Johnson didn't even say keep the law. He just said bake the cake. Don't be a dick, which is a reasonable thing to say. Can I say that? You can. You can say that. Okay, yeah. groovy. Because you're not talking me. about a you know a, a body part or anything like that, right. so it's it's okay. It's a descriptor. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, thanks, Ron, for uh, for your call here tonight. Yeah, appreciate I, it. I appreciate man. that. And I, it is good news that uh, Bill Weld may not. St- still not clear. Oh. He may not be running as uh, as a libertarian this time around. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Yeah. Um, and that means the libertarians might actually have a libertarian candidate because if if Weld had run, he may have gotten it simply yeah. because he's a former politician or current politician. Yeah, and believe former it or governor. not, folks, there is a Libertarian Party out there. Occasionally they put up an actual candidate to run for the office of President of the United States. But more importantly, they run for local offices and things like that. You should check them out. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 